What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in whatever town we're in, because, you know, your boy forgets every single town. Let's see what town we're in. Let's just see. Oh, yes, we are in Santa Loon City. Okay, Santa Loon City for the second time this year, probably. I don't even know, but yes, we are here. And uh, we are here to dominate, as you guys already know. We restarted this whole game all over again from the initial recordings. We had 20, now we're back to 3, and uh, and on. And, uh, well, the deal is this. For those who didn't know, yes, I did uh, re-record these whole episodes because, yeah, we kind of needed to do something a little bit different. Now, if you talk to this lady right here, she will talk to you about the gym badges. Same way as in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, and this guy right here... It's talking about Viola, the bug type gym leader that, you know, loves her bug type Pokemon. It is fantastic. It is a very, very, very fantastic, I think. I would assume. And I believe if you come right here, this person will talk to you about a Fennekin. No, she'll talk about my Fennekin, and we have to put more work in. And, uh, yeah, there is a person here that you can, uh, you can trade for a... Well, you can trade a bundle before a Quackland, a.k.a. Farfetch'd. And I think you have to go right here. So, let's see. Is it this person right here? A Pokemon that you get from trades uh, it tends to grow easy and quicker that, and get stronger. But you know if you don't have enough gym badges, they might not listen to your orders. That is true. Talk to this person. And this guy says that if you could trade him a Bunnelby for his Farfetch'd. And, well, let's see if we actually caught one. And we did. There we go. There is a Bunnelby that we, we captured a while back. So, here is an in-game trade. Probably one of the only in-game trades that we're going to be having right here. So, here you go, Bunnelby is going to be sent. And it's going to be given over for a Quacklin, a.k.a. Farfetch. Now, Farfetch, you know, for the longest time, it's been needing an evolution. And, you know, we're kind of glad that it got it back in the Gala region. So, can't wait to get there, just to show you guys what that's all about. But there it is, we got ourselves a nice far-fetched right here. So let's go ahead and yeah, we're not we're not there yet. So let's go right ahead and uh, check out everything else here that what was it, Santa Loon City has to offer. Now, if you go into this place, this is the Pokemon Trainer School. And if you talk to this individual, he will be giving you some X attacks and X defends. These will come to very very good use once we go take on the Pokemon gym leader right here which believe it or not yes we are gonna be doing right here in this episode we're just taking a small tour battling some people you know taking some names and all that stuff now the individual that crossed you a while back in the roller skates is right here he's just gonna be like hey stranger isn't cruising around a town in your roller skates the best thing ever wait you know you do you mean to tell me that you don't even have your own pair of roller skates then how about this? If you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. I can never say no to a contest. Not me. So how about it? Do you want a battle? Sure. Let's go right ahead. Let's, uh, yeah, let, let, let's see what happens right here. Okay. So here it is. We are taking on Roller Skater. I can't remember her name. And she's going to be coming out with a Zigzagoon. Alrighty. We got our good old buddy uh, Starfox right here. We're going to go with an Ember attack. And see what ends up happening right here. Look at that. Tackle attack. Gonna hit us. Not so, uh... Yeah, not so strong right there. So here goes. Ember attack yet again. And just like that, we win. Yes, we're winning. We're winning a lot. And, well, there goes, uh... There, there goes a, a skater. But once you defeat her... She will be giving you something pretty amazing, and that is roller skates. I kind of wish they would bring those back in, like, later games, guys. That, that would be freaking amazing, but apparently that's not the case here. And all we need to do now is just use the circle pad in order to ride around these uh, roller skates. So let's go right ahead and take a look at these. Let me, let me show you how it's done. Look at that. Look at that, yes. Okay, so we are in... Route 22, the Tenua Way. And we're going to be using Aaliyah because, yeah, for the first, uh, I want to say for the first few episodes, we're going to be using some Pokemon that we've used. But 
we're not going to forget about the Pokemon that we want to capture and put onto our team. I already have something established right here, guys. So that's going to be fun. It will be fun. So here it is. We are going to be taking on a uh, Psyduck right here. And thankfully, we have a Thundershock. So here we go. Thundershock does its thing. And here comes a Tail Whip attack. That doesn't look good right now. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and switch out to Star Fox because we already know that Pikachu has the uh, the defense capabilities of a paper uh, paper plane right here. And well, with that, there comes a scratch attack. So, as you guys can already see, it's a wasted attack. But we're gonna we're gonna do this. Yeah, here comes a Psyduck going in with his Water Sport right here. Not much of a thing. Well, it's not going to affect me very much because I'm not going to be using any kind of fire-type moves. And there you go. Alrighty. Okay. And just like that, our little Pikachu, Aaliyah, grows to level 4. So we're going to be doing this again. And, uh, well, let's see what happens. Let us see what happens right here. Taking on a lit Leo. Now, I mentioned this early on that uh, the reason why we're not we, why we restarted this game or why we uh, we erased the original the original recordings and go, went back to the, the the start of this game is because part of the team was uneven yeah I managed to get myself a lit Leo yeah I I was like okay how would they how would it, how would my fans feel if I got myself a lit Leo onto the team I obviously captured lit Leo. Call him Mufasa. You know, the revenge of Mufasa and all that stuff. But it didn't make sense. The team that I made did not make sense, especially choosing a Froakie yet again. So, yeah, that right there, that right there was, uh, you know, that right there was the deciding point on whether or not I should just restart the game and, and, and choose a different Pokemon. And the reason why I chose Star Fox right here is because in my Pokemon... X walk or in my Pokemon X game that I'm playing separately from here I chose the grass type Pokemon and as many of you guys already know at the end of the game you get a trade for all three starters or for one of the three starters and look at this Leah's growing levels there you go so yeah we're trying to collect Pokemon we're trying to breed Pokemon we're trying to send them elsewhere and uh, well look at that we have won another battle yes okay Let's see. We're going to be going uh, against some more Pokemon. You will be finding some rare Pokemon in this area right here, guys. So just keep an eye out for that. Battle as many people as you can. And, uh, well, here we are taking on Last Ellen. And she will be coming out with her Golding. So this right here is actually going to work uh, in our favor. So let's go ahead. Thundershock it. Yeah. And Goldeen is not liking it, not one bit. Don't know why it's using Water Sport. And uh, here we go. Another Water Sport right here. and Or not another, uh, another Thundershock, I should say. And Aaliyah just keeps on growing levels. And here comes a Meryl. So this is like, they're spooning, they're spoon feeding my Aaliyah right here. So let's go another Thundershock. And... There it is. Oh, yes. You are paralyzed, Pika Blue. You are paralyzed, and you cannot move. So let's go right ahead and finish this Pokemon off with... Bam. You got it. Thundershock. Yeah, buddy. All righty. So, as many of you guys already noticed, from the beginning of this game... There you go. At the beginning of this game, you have to train your Pokemon. You have to capture as many Pokemon as possible in order to train them up and uh, what was it called um to train them up and and match up with the gym leader here you granted the gym leader is not really that strong because he has bug type uh, trainers or bug type uh, pokemon but holy crud holy crud hold just a sec hold the phone i'm trying to do something right here guys <laughs> there we go there's my face thank you okay so let's go right ahead and continue the search for more Pokemon trainers. Here we have another individual wanting to battle us. And 
Well, let's go ahead and press that start button right there. Okay, so here we are taking on Rising Star Leo Chich. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. And we got little Aaliyah coming in here ready to battle. And what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be switching it off to Star Fox. Now, this is going to be... This is gonna be crazy. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't faint. Hopefully this Pokemon doesn't do anything crazy right here. But, here we go. Let's get it, an Ember attack. And, well, let's see. Well, that's, that's, well, it, did, it didn't really work right there. So here we go, another Ember attack. And well, this guy's gonna be going for a quick attack, so. Here we go, Ember Attack for the win. And that is how you do it, alrighty. And well, Aaliyah grows to level eight, so we're doing well. We are balancing our team already. And that's another, that's more monies right there for our pockets. So let's go right ahead and move on to the next area right here. There are two trainers that we can actually battle and a Pokemon that will appear. I wonder what Pokemon we'll be finding. And would you look at that? We are looking at a Lit Leo. God dang it, it's always a female Lit Leo. So, another gripe is that there are more lit, female Lit Leos than male Lit Leos. I don't know why that is. And the good thing is that we paralyze this Pokemon, so it will be easier for us to capture. So, let's go right ahead and use another Thunder Shock. And just like that, here comes a Leer attack. All right, Elite Leo. Let's see. Let's go with uh, Pokeball right here. And, well, the funny thing is that it's not going to be on my team. Not going to be on my team right here. So, let's go with this Pokeball. And see if it actually works. Yes. All righty. So, there you go, guys. We got ourselves a Elite Leo. Female version. And... Well, let's see what, what this Pokemon is all about. So as you guys can see, Lit Leo is a Lion Cub Pokemon, fire and normal type Pokemon. They set off their own, they set off from their own, from their pride and live by themselves to become stronger. These hot-blooded Pokemon are quick to fight. I am not going to nickname this Lit Leo because, well, you know, I didn't really want to capture it, but still I caught it. And we're gonna keep on battling because we 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 we, we need to get stronger. So here it is taking on schoolboy Rabbi. Or Rabbi or Rabbi. I don't know. Whatever they go, I always chop up the names. So here we are. Taking on a Pidgey with our good old Aaliyah. And there we go. Thundershock does its thing, and here comes a Gus. That yeah, that, that, that's not going to be super effective. Or, yeah, that's going to be super effective. But here we go, Thundershock. And there you go. Just like that, we get another victory. And well, let's see. Here comes Metapod. So let's go right ahead and give Star Fox a little bit of love. So here we go. Star Fox. Let's go. All righty. We're taking on the dreaded Metapod right here, which is funny. So, let's go right ahead and give it an Ember attack. And from here, there it is. Say goodbye to Metapod. It is not a happy camper right now. And, well, Rabbi, not so happy. Yeah, we, we, we know you're not happy. Okay, so, let's see. Is there another trainer who wants to battle us? Of course, there's like three of them, I think. We probably need to heal up our Pokemon as well. So here we are taking on Schoolgirl Mackenzie. And, well, she's going to be coming out with a uh, Bunnelby right here. Don't know. Do not know if that's going to be a good matchup against uh, my Aaliyah right here. So let's go ahead and switch it off to good old Star, uh, Star Fox right here. Almost said Starblade, which is hilarious. Okay. Oh, wow. So, as you guys can see, we definitely need to heal up our Pokeball, I, or Pokemon. So, let's go with a Super Potion. Look at that. Okay. First time we're using a Super Potion in quite some time. And we shall not faint. Here comes a Quick Attack. And that... Yeah, that's not so effective, but yet... 
Here we go, Ember Attack. And that nearly takes down Bunnelby, so here comes another attack onto us, and let's go ahead and finish this Pokemon off. Let's go, Ember Attack. And there you go. Look at that, okay, alrighty. And well, Mackenzie has been defeated. And I, I, I do think it's, it's yeah, I, th I do think we need to heal up our Pokemon right now because this, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, we're taking a little too many risks right here. Uh, not that. Let's see, let's go ahead and use this. And use it on Star Fox and Aaliyah. Okay, already. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. I think Aaliyah's at a good level just to battle people. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and not take on... Oh, no, this is the Ledge Girl. Okay, so we got one more person to actually battle right here. And there it is. Bam. Alrighty. So here we are taking on last uh, Elsa and she will be coming out with a Flabebe Flabebe Pretty good Pokemon very good looking Pokemon funny thing is everybody thinks this is a grass type Pokemon But it really is a, it's a fairy type Pokemon So yeah, keep an eye out for that and here comes a fairy wind attack, which yeah, not so effective But yet you're gonna be flamed under so here we go ember attack and that right there takes away Flabebe. Okay, alrighty. Okay, and look at this. Get ourselves to level 14. And it wants to learn Flame Charge. This is a good, a new good move. And well, it's much more physical. And might as well switch it out with something else that will actually work. So there you go. And Star Fox has won. Alrighty. Okay, so we, 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 we are doing good right here. Very, very well. Okay, so you'll be able to find some secret stuff right here later on into our adventure. And if you go into this area, you'll be able to find the Pokemon League that quickly. So all we need to do now is go right here. And bam, here we found ourselves a Super Potion, which is always great. And, well... The next thing we need to do is that Pokemon Gym. And, oh, are you serious? Okay, so I might as well end the episode right here because I'm getting a phone call right now. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be battling against the Bug-type Gym Leader right here. So I'll be right back with you guys for another episode of our Pokemon Y Walkthrough. See you guys.